play is in full first. There is music, not really sound, but there is music playing. That is the shot. Bring down that music a little bit. And you are saying here, you are probably going to add some drones to this. I do like this. It's definitely cool stuff. It'd be kind of fun to have a drones coming in there. I like it. What I will probably say, there's a little bit of a feeling of an action and then go. I will probably cut in around, for me, this is frame three or four for something that starts at frame one. So it, it starts a bit more on action. And then the main thing I'm seeing here, there's a lot of leg pops and a bit of a slow timing there and it's some repetition there. It's cool though, but again, all very subjective. So watch out, there are some moments where your leg kind of overextends and then pops into a bend. So if you go through legs, there's just some moments where it's just a bit, especially this one is the big one where the IK foot, you need to bring in a foot roll or change the weight shift so that it doesn't overextend like that. Or you have moments like this knee goes back, bam, and it goes forward. It's a lot of harsh hits. Same thing here. You can see how the knee is popping in this one. These are just technical cleanups, basically. The other thing was, you know, there's some tiny detail stuff like as you put your hand down, it would be flat fingers and not curled here. So just a little detail work on that. I think in terms of super, this feels a bit odd in terms of how it stops. There's so much forward momentum and roll. And then once the character gets to this, it just kind of stops. And to me, it feels like at that speed with that roll, there would be pa-pam. And that step would be up to here with potentially another step with the other leg so that the character might potentially end up here. So you really feel that four momentum down that will continue here, probably go up to around here with a leg that's here to stop that whole four momentum. So that to me is the bigger change there. Then watch out, there's also some issues where this arm just kind of goes left, right, left, right, left, right. Some of that stuff, same thing here. I don't know if it's just because it's... That chest is moving, where everything's kind of moving and stopping at the same time. But then we're also seeing then the bend. So it looks like potentially an IK arm. Just because of this here, how it just moves straight without, a, without an arc while the body's moving there. And it seems like it, where here you leave your IK controller behind, and that's why this, this arm overextends both of these. Feels a bit odd. So it's overall timing and spacing, mostly spacing there. And then for this jump, I think it's not enough anticipation. It's such a small move down to go so far back with so much energy. And then watch out some pops there in this knee as well. But I will go lower in your, in your squash. You can go down anticipation squash maybe bend over arms forward and then the arms swing back into something so it's not trailing so much but the arms swinging back help with that turn and then it gets a bit repetitive where that arm is here and then goes straight over there so watch out your arcs but positionally it goes back to here and then kind of goes over there and then back to here and then back to here and then it rests there. But then again, you can see kind of the IK arm when you have chest movement, but the arms don't really, that that moment is pinned there, that, that area. So I would say, watch out animation-wise, momentum-wise, how this works. Uh, same thing here, technically, but then quote-unquote acting for the robot here, I would do something where it could land and then it might turn around, pivot off of one leg, turn around, and then take a step over. This will also all depend, you know, once you put in the drones and where it has to look. So just keep that in mind that I will tweak this so it's not so, it's almost like Saturday Night Fever. Da, da, some dancing thing where it's constantly going back and forth. So I think free up this leg. This seems like once it lands there, it's like it doesn't want to move anymore. So give it another 180, a bit more freedom to uh, roam around there. All right, well, that's kind of that. Thanks.
All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.